Hey guys, Furum here, and welcome to Winter Moments in Forza Horizon 4, as I go from 6th to 3rd place in a span of 1 second. Today I will be testing the 4 GT in Forza Horizon 4 multiplayer in S1 class. My tune is by Mars2JZ. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and check out my new Furum Clips channel. The link will be in the description. Generally, I just upload asphalt clips on there, but I might do some Forza 2. We'll see. This is the regular 4 GT. This is not the welcome pack 4 GT, which is better in S2 2 class, I believe. My paint scheme in this video was created by Skipper, and in this video we're going to be showing one race in fall, I think this was, and our second race is going to be in winter. Now, you may be wondering, why winter? Well, I don't often get a chance to drive cars in winter in Forza Horizon 4, because a lot of them are not very good at it, the grip is low, but the 4 GT, at least how I was using it, had the little snow icon by it, so I knew it would be okay in the winter season. And later in this video, you will get to see exactly how it does there. Now, if you would like to join in these races yourself, you can join the Purple Team Discord, the link will be in the description, and if you go to the Special Rolls channel, you can pick the Forza Roll, which I will ping every time I do one of these lobbies every other week, and I have decided to start streaming every other week as well, essentially alternating from week to week between streaming and recording Forza lobbies, and I do them at the same time just so it's easy to keep track of. But now let's take a look at all the people in this race. We had a slightly smaller lobby this week of 8 players, which is, I mean, the same as the full lobby in Asphalt 9, so it's it's not really that small. We have Tangram and Tired Flame in their Honda NSX-Rs, Career GT in his Carrera, as always, Skipper also in an NSX-R, Nerd Gamer in his McLaren F1, How To Be in his Zonda C, and Takustado in his McLaren 12C. Ahead of me are Skipper and Tangram battling it out in their NSX-Rs, which apparently is a pretty good car. Now, if I had had the Welcome Pack version of the 4GT, I would have tested that instead, because I've been told that it is slightly better than this car, at least by a little bit. The reason why I don't have the Welcome Pass is because I originally got the Deluxe version of Forza Horizon 4 instead of the Ultimate Edition. Now, I'm not going to do that for Forza Horizon 5. I will be purchasing the full Premium Edition of Forza Horizon 5 so I get all the goodies as well as 4 days early access to make videos for you guys ahead of perhaps some other people. Because since I've loved Forza Horizon 4 so much over the last few years, and I've really liked Forza Horizon 3 in the small amount of time I have played that as well. I am fairly certain Forza Horizon 5 is going to be an amazing game, and I cannot wait to try it out, test out the new track on Mexico, which is apparently going to be 50% larger than the one we have here, which is set in the UK. So that's going to be awesome. I know there's going to be a lot of variation in terrain and everything, which is something that we didn't actually see a lot of, or at least not as much as I would have liked in the UK setting. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And now for our winter race, which is on the Colossus. Now the Colossus has become one of my more favorite tracks recently. I've always said Greendale Super Sprint was one of them. This has become another one. And as you will see, even in winter, the 4GT is able to maintain pretty good grip. It isn't very slidey. Now some cars are quite bad for winter. One thing that immediately pops into my mind is the Koenigsegg Agera RS. That thing slides all over the place if you so much as touch the snow in winter. Thankfully though, most cars aren't quite that extreme, and the 4GT does quite well. But Career GT is really flying on up there. He is in a Ferrari Enzo this time, which is a car that I recently was able to obtain through the festival playlist playing with some members in my community. Yeah, if you join the Purple Team Discord, you might have a chance to play with me in the festival playlist, because I plan to do a few more of those, don't quite know how many exactly, because of Forza Horizon 5 coming soon, and the next Forza Horizon 4 update is going to be the last one to bring new cars, but of course there's still a chance. Also in the race, we have a few more people this time, 10 to be exact, How to be in his Zonda C again, Flame in his Audi S1, Rio in his Quadra VTEC, which is a cyberpunk car that I did manage to get, Takustado in his 4GT, Tangram and Skipper, of course, again in their NSXRs, Nerd Gamer in his ATS GT, and Monty in his Quadra VTEC as well. I'm not sure how good that car actually is. I never really tested it because I didn't know much about it, and 
it's not really a known car since it's just from Cyberpunk, and I never played that, and I know most of you guys probably haven't either, so yeah. Never was really a car that I saw much point to testing on my channel. However, I will definitely be testing the Enzo. Probably will do that in two weeks time. This weekend I am planning to test the Shelby Cobra 427, but one reason I want to really test the Enzo is because, I mean, in this race, this is like the perfect advertisement for it. Also, I was able to pick up the Zenvo TSRS, which should be coming in the second half of the current Asphalt 9 update, which should be coming in just a couple of days now, as we're nearing the end of the Volkswagen W12 event, as well as a lot of the other events and multiplayer seasons going on right now. And I should be able to try out all the new cars, so hopefully I'll be able to finally make my newest rendition of my best and worst cars in each class list video. This will be like, what, V5 or something like that? That's kind of crazy, it's been so many. Typically I do it every four updates. It's been five because last time I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do with it, and I got busy right around the time the new update was coming out. But this time, hopefully, it'll be a lot better, and I plan to make like a real tier list out of it. So instead of doing it, just listing the car's names on the screen from best to worst, which got really cluttered, and some cars were so close it was hard to rank them anyway, I'm instead going to just use a tier list system with pictures of the cars instead of, you know, their names written all the way out. I think this will be a much easier and clearer way to just tell between all of the cars, and I honestly think it will make for a more fun viewing experience as well, so your entire screen isn't just filled with text. <laughs> But I have lots of other videos coming soon as well on the channel. I like to do a mix generally between my own races and other people's races. Like, I don't like to have a bunch in a row that aren't my own races. Because I know that's what you guys mostly subscribe for, so that's what I try to make the majority of my content. However, since there are some cars that I just can't get since I don't spend money on the game, those are the ones primarily that I ask other people to record for me, or sometimes I don't even ask. Sometimes they just offer their races up, and I'm more than happy to accept them. But I'm totally okay with doing that, because number one, it means you guys get to see more reviews of different multiplayer cars. Number two, you may be exposed to some other people in the community who are really good drivers that you may not have heard of. And number three, it just gives more content for my channel, which is always a bonus. Now, I do not do this in Forza, because generally speaking in Forza, cars are relatively easy to obtain. Either you play a few races to get them in the season, or you buy them for a few hundred thousand or maybe a few million credits, which aren't that hard to come by if you know how to use the auction house properly. And I just find it very fun testing all these different cars, just seeing which ones I feel most comfortable with. And I must say, the 4 GT was a pretty good experience. It wasn't one of the very best cars that I tested, but it certainly wasn't one of the worst either. Way better than the Civic debacle. And generally, I just really like cars that stay planted, are decently fast, accelerate decently quickly, and most of all, go where I want them to when I want them to do it, which is something a few cars haven't done. Now, the Shelby Cobra is kind of difficult to find a good tune like that. However, I have found found one, and so I'm hoping to make that a really good video too. And we finished the Colossus in second position. Thank you all so much for watching, please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>